Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market preparation video for October 14th, 2019. So what do we know this morning? Well, this morning we know that we had a massive uh, short squeeze rally on Friday, gapping us well above our 50-day moving averages on the Diamond Spy and Q. IWM, not so much. But those three indexes really gapped up and ran higher yesterday. And it was inter or on Friday, but it was interesting that at the end of the day, we had some significant selling coming back in, leaving behind rather unconfident um, candle patterns here in the chart. So we're looking at a, the shooting star type patterns. And now we're looking at a futures market this morning, showing a little bit of a gap down this um, so far this morning on news that China, well, may need more discussion before they're willing to sign this so-called phase one deal. You know, um, it begs the question, how many phases are there now? And um, what is in the deal? Um, it seems to still be extremely vague as to what is in this so-called phase one deal. And now China is saying, well, they probably need, are going to need some more discussion before they would even think about signing a deal this morning. So uh, we are gapping down now. Interestingly enough, we have rallied um, um, off of the overnight lows uh, by about 50 percent. We've come up substantially off of those overnight lows after that news came out. So once again, the, the market is still um, showing extreme um enthusiasm about a deal we don't know anything about. I, I'm really struggling to understand this market move. But if we just take a look at the technicals, we have to take a look and say, okay, this was a bullish move. We're above the 50 day moving average, but there certainly is still a lot of uncertainty out there uh, circulating around. So whether or not we can hold this gap is yet to be seen. This morning gapping into that move um, could be a little bit problematic. We have that potential that we could drift lower and fill that gap very easily. Um, the one thing that may be helping us today is the fact that today is a banking holiday. The bond markets are closed. So after the morning rush, and that's what I call that first 20, 30 minutes where we bounce all over the place. Um, after the morning rush, we could really see the market and get very, very light and choppy for the rest of the day. Remember, we have fourth quarter earnings officially kicking off next Tuesday or this coming Tuesday with um, Citibank, Goldman Sachs reporting on Tuesday, uh, just to name a couple. And that will kind of um, also leave an, an just kind of a tentative anticipation in the market. They're not going to want to get too carried away here ahead of that report. And then with banks being closed, bond marks, markets being closed, we can probably see, uh, expect some very light choppy price action for the rest of the day, really going virtually nowhere, unless there's new news that comes out about trade deal or Brexit or something along those lines. So, as we as we look at a market here, we we have uh, a good bullish uh, move moving us up in this market. And if I pull this back and draw this trend, we did uh, um, hold on to this very choppy, ugly, uh, very difficult to trade uptrend and gap up and pull back um, on Friday, leaving behind that shooting star pot pattern and now a gap down, just adding more confusion to this overall pattern. So be very, very careful today. Watch this closely. We could easily see those bears come out and, and push this a little bit lower. So um, just watch that carefully. Um, one thing I, I fear is that, you know, um, when we squeezed out all the short traders, 
um, on uh, Friday, and and now um, all of those that got long um, and flipped in reverse positions to go long could now get squeezed back out in any uh, short selling uh, move today. So watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at um, the SPY. SPY, similar situation, but really a, a, an ugly, ugly candle pattern here. Gravestone Doji pattern here left behind. So with all that confidence that we gap up and, and move so strongly, now that confidence confidence um, uh, less than stellar and we're looking at a gap down open this morning so let's be a little bit careful um, in this move technically speaking we're above that 50-day moving average which is a bullish sign but certainly not leaving behind a whole lot of confidence and then once again we have those situations going on you know including a, a brexit situation that on friday there was positive reports oh my goodness brexit may finally get done now this morning reports maybe not so much so we've got that going on we've got uh, turkey uh, uh, and syria conflict um, escalating there's just a lot of unknowns out there that could affect the market and right now this not very confident look that we have here is is wonderful that it's above the 50-day moving average but certainly not a warm and fuzzy that i think a lot of folks were hoping for let's take a look at the cues qqq hanging in there um, again a bit of a shooting star top up, up here and remember um, we never did break out um, on the cues to make that new high so technically speaking this is another lower high in this market and then we're gapping lower this morning slightly so we'll just so much uncertainty here it's just really difficult to get your hands around this market with this wild choppiness and being so news driven it really has pushed um, traders that are in the market into day trading because there really can be uh, little to no edge at all for any swing traders. There's just no follow through um, on a daily basis. We cannot seem to get one or two days um, in any direction without a substantial gap. And it makes it very, very frustrating if you're trying to do any swing um, or position trading for that matter. So looking bullish above its 50 day moving average, but certainly not comfortably bullish in the patterns that it's leaving behind. And then IWM, boy, poor IWM. It just kind of did the, I don't know what to do shuffle on Friday. Uh, trying to move up sharply, trying to move down sharply, just really dancing around, not knowing exactly what to do with itself and kind of feeling like probably a lot of traders are um, right now. Our downtrend here in IWM is still in play. And even though we made that attempt up, it's still not looking very healthy here with our 50 day moving average crossing down below our 200 and this morning we are looking at an open well it not not as bad um, but just a slightly lower open this morning so a lot of confusion here and IWM is likely to see a very stale day today with it being a banking holiday so uh, let's just be a little bit careful a little bit cautious let's take a look at the VIX the VIX is what's called the, the fear indicator. Now the fear indicator has been all over the place as we've been, the, the market emotions has just been sweeping back and forth on every one of these news reports. And as you can see, we ended up breaking down through this little uh, support area here in the chart. So Friday, those the, a lot of that fear came out of the market, but, but I suspect today with this selling and the uncertainty now of this deal that we could come back up really constituting a hold of this support so let's watch that pretty closely um, throughout the day and see what happens again I, I really am kind of expecting a very light and choppy day and if we take this trend right across here 
that's now really become our new downtrend that we need to challenge for any uh, failure pattern in the market or upside move. Um, we, we were dealing with this downtrend that we ended up holding, but we've got this next, next level up here that we're going to have to deal with. And if we hold off of this low, I want you to notice the possibility in this chart. Not that this is what is going to occur, but the possibility of a head and shoulders inverted head and shoulders pattern here on the VIX. So if that fear starts creeping up, that pattern could certainly develop. We'll want to watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Well, before we do that, we should take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And at one point on Friday, we had gone from all the way in down here to the bearish from the bullish reversal zone. We were up here poking against this line and we were up here at the bearish reversal zone. Um, the selling at the end of the day pulled us back substantially. So that leaves us in a situation where we have plenty of upside room if the bulls can get going but we also have that potential that we've seen here recently that we could whip all the way back down so we're just going to have to play our cards pretty close to our vest and watch us really really closely stay focused to the price action try and try to remain very very flexible in this market because it, there doesn't seem to be anything that we can really hold on to very tightly. It's like we're trying to climb a pole. We're trying really hard. We want to be bullish. We want to be positive. We're trying to climb a pole, but somebody has greased the pole. And we, as, we, as much as we struggle to move up and then we s slide all the way back down. So be really, really careful in this market. Let's take a look again at our economic calendar our economic calendar doesn't have anything at all to say about today's move so just keep that in mind that we have um, a uh, federal holiday banks are closed bond market is closed so we could expect probably some light and choppy price action as a result of that. And once we get through the, what I call the morning rush, it's when everybody, just all the emotional traders just run in, rush, 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 rush around, and then everything will likely calm down this morning. So um, could see a light and choppy day um, after that occurs. On the earnings calendar, we have nine companies reporting earnings. None of them would be uh, market moving. Um, none of them would be expected to be um, particularly notable either. But let's keep in mind, tomorrow on Tuesday, we officially kick off fourth quarter earnings. And we have Citibank, and we have Goldman Sachs, and we have J&J and, &J and, and uh, JP Morgan all reporting. So uh, WFC also reports, uh, Schwab reports. So we're going to have a big day of earnings tomorrow, which is really going to increase and potentially increase that volatility considerably. If those banks report better than expected, we could just see the market rip higher. If they happen to disappoint, well, you know what can happen with that. So uh, you might want to be a little bit careful in adding a whole bunch of risk um, as we begin that uh, fourth quarter earnings on Tuesday. So keep that one in mind. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading. It's probably going to be um, a boring day, light and choppy price action. Probably not going to be a whole lot of move. We could see after the morning open. I wouldn't be at all surprised, you know, if uh, this gap gap down open ends up finding sellers and we push down um, to test the lows of the overnight. But other than that, I, I kind of suspect we're going to see light, choppy price action for the day. So be um, kind of thoughtful about that fourth quarter earnings starting on Tuesday, how you might want to approach that. So um, with that, everyone, um, I want to wish you great success in your trading today and hope everyone has a great day. And um, 
If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the thumbs up button and leave those comments and also make sure when that pop-up comes up after you click that subscribe that you click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know the purpose of these videos is not to predict a single thing. It is just to look at the technicals of the market, try to calm things down, focus in on what really is going on with the market. So so we can make better informed decisions as we approach the market. And if you find that helpful, please, uh, you know, click that thumbs up and, and leave a brief comment. That helps a tremendous amount. And I want to thank everyone who does that. Um, you are directly responsible for the growth of this channel. And um, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could potentially be setting up, but we're going to have to be really careful with these today. And I'm going to give you kind of a mix of things that could be happening. One that that is very interesting to me is um, the big showing of strength that we have had in the last few days uh, of trading on um Retail, retail really picked up. Now, I'm assuming Friday that was a result of the uh, strong consumer confidence numbers. If confidence numbers are high, um, holiday sales will probably be pretty good. So uh, Dollar General uh, moved up nicely, ended up pulling back, leaving that shooting star pattern um, in here, but holding above support. You might want to keep an eye on Dollar General. You might also want to keep an eye on uh, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree moved up, tried to break out again, a little bit of a shooting star up here, but holding above this key level of support. Other retail, such as Home Depot, did really, really well on Friday. Once again, that pullback at the end of the day, leaving us with a little bit of confusion in the chart. Not exactly sure. Um, if we're going to get more pullback today or more rest, but this breakout up here, pretty significant, something we want to pay attention to. Apple being another. Apple's move on Friday, tremendous move, uh, showing a lot of strength, really helping the NASDAQ a lot uh, moving up. Now, I think this is you would be chasing to get into this move. And I wouldn't want to chase this move. Um, I think it's a little bit extended at this point. So what we want to do is we want to watch this for any rest or consolidation. So if this were to pull back or if this were to consolidate over toward its trend, then we'd be looking for those next moves higher. So might want to keep an eye on it. Other places you might want to look um, that are relatively um uh, interesting to me is um, some of these defensive stocks. Now, a lot of the def defensive stocks suffered a little damage on Friday because there seemed to be such a big move into pushing the market higher that some of the defensive su suffered a bit on that move. So we got a little pullback here on uh, CPB, but this consolidation over the trend is still looking very, very good. Now, once again, I'm going to mention, I don't know where this trend is going to finish up. I'm watching it right in here. If the market does start getting a little bit spooky, we could see uh, some of the defensive sector stocks like CPB start to kick back up. So keep um, keep an eye on, on those charts. Might want to keep an eye on Goodyear Tire as well. Goodyear has had this really choppy look to it here, but I want you to notice this is kind of one of those W bottom formations uh, starting to show up. And if we can break, into this level right here. Get up in here and hold. Could your tire is starting to show some of those signs that are, it's ready to go up. Now, clearly we have some resistance in this chart to deal with, but Goodyear had a really nice move on Friday and notice that it held up quite well into the close on Friday. So might be worth keeping an eye on that. Um, Weight Watchers also has been holding up quite well and we're dancing around in this area, but let's keep an eye right across here. If this can hold this support in here, a little bit of a higher low starting to form. And if that pushes on higher, we could have a nice move in Weight Watchers. So keep that one in mind. Um, there are a lot of charts that really started to turn around um, 
on Friday. Take a look at uh, Caterpillar. Caterpillar, big move up. Now this is a trend that I saw on Friday that's pretty darn interesting. Even though we had these big, big, huge moves, moving uh, the indexes higher, I want you to notice that a lot of these charts um, in their move back up are slamming right into price resistance in their charts. So keep that in mind. There could be some failure pattern setting up here if the market decides to sell off. So if we continue this pop and, and might be running right into those short trade setups here on these charts, uh, pretty interesting in a lot of places. And then we had charts like uh, Boeing. Boeing holding up in here, but um, and holding on to some nice support area in here, but Boeing's leaving us with just a little bit of caution as well. Still holding in this overall downtrend and just kind of dancing around whether it's going to be bullish or bearish in here. One thing we have is an upside trend that we want to keep an eye on. We didn't quite hold this one that challenged this downtrend uh, resistance area. So could go either direction so we have this real mix of uh, stocks which wouldn't be all that big of a surprise with so much uncertainty in the market so be really really careful guys plan your trades very very carefully we could have a very choppy go nowhere frustrating day and then uh, gear up for uh, fourth quarter break starting on Tuesday everyone I want to wish you all the best I want to wish you a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning have a good one